This is Iran, modeling and texturing artist as well as my good friend. Recently Iran finished a really nice look dev project that you can check on his art station, I'll put a link in the description. In this tutorial, we will try to recomb his passes to infuse just a bit more punch and life to his cool look the fork. My name is Konstantin Galevich and this is my characterarium. Let's start by creating a folder with all the passes with correct names. This folder will be our bank, from where we will be duplicating them. Zdeb has too much depth in it for our needs, so I will kill it with levels. Compositing inside Photoshop is done with 8 bit. If you want to stay it in true 32 bits, switch to Nuke or something of this nature. For our steel frame needs, we are completely okay killing the depth after nailing the right exposure and gamma. Next is a reference. Let's find a good ref for our needs. It can be another render you liked, photography or a movie frame. For this one I wanted to go with the classic painting feel. I will start from a first background match to give me the right mood. Pay attention, the compositions are different between painting and our render. That's the reason I will change the background towards the end. Here I match and render its skin tones to the painting ones using diffuse pass on top of the beauty one. To extract the dark spots on his skin, I duplicate the diffuse and torch and get a bit with levels until I get the mask I'm after. Here I am adding back to the bottom to mesh the creature and background together. I don't want to throw a viewer off with the harsh cut uh, the model have. Adding a bit of artificial shadow to his right, again to match the painting a bit better, is done with regular levels. I am using ambient occlusion pass to enforce subsurface scattering to his cavities. I colorizing it and switching to multiply blending mode. Here I am using the indirect lighting pass to add even more details to the same creases, just to pop them up a bit more. Ok. Now the cool parts begins. I'm creating the effects folder. Inside I will place all the cool manipulations on the render. First, I created Garim Blade. Just fill a mask of your character with black and add an inner glow effect on top using color dodge or screen. Depends on the render and light conditions. Then switching the filler to zero. Now you got evenly distributed Dreamland, just add a mask and erase it in the unnecessary places. To create even more depth, I'm adding another rim light with crisper and stronger effects on top of it. Alright, now I'm creating something they called Light Wrap. Light Wrap is heavily used in compositing to blend background and key it or render it foregrounds. In nature, we can see this effect because of Renel or, for example, small hairs on your face called Peach Fuzz. Basically, Light Wrap is a bended light from behind that we see some of its power and color in the front. On 
top of the effects folder I creating a color correction one. Adding some dust particles on top of everything can give a sense of depth by adding another layer beyond you and a character. Closer to the end, I realized that the eyes just don't pop enough, so I painted some negative colors into them. Finally, I realized that the red just not working for me. Too monochromatic, I guess. So after a small play, I decided to go with purples. I shifted the background, rim lights and a light wrap. I hope you enjoyed this video and hit the like and subscribe button because a lot more content to come. Thank you and have a great day, Constantine.